Imagine a future in which humans have become so powerful that they can individually control thousands of semi-sentient machines spread across an entire world. In Ashes of the Singularity Escalation, you can face off against a self-aware AI. Well, the AI isn't actually self-aware. Shocker, I know. I asked game designer Callum McCall how we then make the AI feel super clever to the player. I'm Callum McCall, lead designer for Ashes of the Singularity. I should say Escalation, because I think some of the marketing people get mad when I don't say Escalation. I'm the lead designer for Ashes of the Singularity Escalation. First, we can give the AI personality. I think for an AI to be compelling, it needs to not be repetitive. The majority of RTS games, their AI fails. The fact that they just suicide units against you. I really like the AI in Rise of Nations. They wouldn't just suicide units at you. They would actually build the, the siege units and they would, would have their army formations. The, the AI in Ashes, it, it interacts like a player would. It has a lot of different personalities and they, they can be chosen or they're randomly selected. And this is even including the campaign. So when you're playing through the single player campaign or the, the DLC scenarios, you can have a completely different experience every time you play that. Next, focusing the game on what the AI is good at. That is the macro level. It's a large scale RTS game, so the AI doesn't have to worry about things such as micromanagement and, and small tactics. And so it's, it's a domain of, of skill that the AI doesn't need to master. Instead, Ashes is all about having a, a large scale production economy, building the right unit types, uh, attacking you in, in key areas, using orbital abilities and unlocking upgrades and such. So the AI, it doesn't have those, those difficult tasks that are just impossible to code. Whereas something like Company of Heroes, it's a lot more smaller scale. So you have a lot of very minutiae of actions in terms of throwing grenades, timing of retreats, flanking support weapons. Larger scale RTS games will always have that advantage of, of it being easier to make AI that is compelling and feels like a human player. And when you combine that with just how detailed the AI in Ashes is, it does lead for what I think is the best comp stomping experience in any RTS game. Finally, more engine power to the AI. So Ashes is the first RTS game to use a core neutral engine, the Nitrous engine. It's able to utilize every CPU core that you have available, and that gives you unheard of performance in terms of the amount of units you can have on screen. You can have thousands of units, but it also gives a lot more performance to the AI. The AI is able to use whatever core it wants to do all these calculations, all these decisions, and that's part of what makes the AI in Ashes so compelling to play against and so fun is that it's just more under the hood that's really fueling the the fun. I said fueling the fun sounded cheesy, but okay. Fueling the fun! Thanks for watching. If you want to see a great video about game AI in general, I suggest you go check out Game Maker's Toolkit. I'll put a link in the description. And if you're interested in Ashes, you can subscribe to this channel to see more.